first want to indicate that the matter pertaining to SCASPA and its vaccination policy was posited to the staff in excess of two months ago. At that meeting, the staff knew that on June the 1st, certain requirements were going to be put in place. As far as I can recall, being there, the only pushback at the staff level was to whether or not when they were going to do the RT-PCR test, who was going to be responsible for the payment thereof. SCASPA is run by a board of which I'm not a part. The board came to certain decisions because they recognized that the throughput at the ports of entry was very significant. 150,000 plus through the airport, 1 million plus through the seaport. And hence, they were on the front line of the persons who would come into direct contact with the most exposed persons. In fact, as I speak, 17 of the workers at SCASPA are in quarantine. In fact, as I speak, we, he we have an intrusion of positivity in shed number two. As I speak, there is a particular company in this federation which interacts on a daily basis with SCASPA. The entire staff is in quarantine as I speak. I like to, I would like to adopt what Dr. Wilkinson said in his last minute or two of his presentation, which is, at the end of the day, I, as a vaccinated individual, will now have to ask myself if I'm going to allow an unvaccinated individual to come within my space. As I said, SCASPA is an independent entity. It is not directed by the cabinet as far as I'm aware. And I can also say, on the last occasion in which the Attorney General spoke, the Attorney General knew that that matter was not a new matter. And it was a matter that was in that domain over a month. We await, that's the cabinet, await the policy from the Attorney General's chambers. I can say that two months ago, when the position of vaccinations were first posited to the staff, we were at 6% of persons vaccinated. I can tell you that as of this morning, the vaccination rate at SCASPA is at 62%. 62% and counting 
I suspect the very next time that I'll be here present, I can say to you, we are at 70%. And I can say to you, it is by no magic that we got to this position. It is because individually and collectively, SCASP recognize that the country collectively is bigger than us individually.